Hello, welcome to China Money Network video. I'm Nina Xiang. Today I'm in Shenzhen visiting a company called Royal Corporation. This company makes rollable screens and flexible display consumer electronics. I'm going to meet the company's founder, Bill Liu, and also its futuristic products and see how this $3 billion company going to change how humans interact with machines in the future. I see here we have a keyboard that it can be rolled out. Uh, yeah, this is our uh, flexible keyboard. And uh, as you can see, it's flexible and it can be curved. And can um, when you push here, it can be rolled inside. And then you put it out. And then it can connect to um, iPad and iPhone through Bluetooth. Here I see some curved uh, flexible sensors you can touch this and then the computer will get it uh, yeah actually all these are our uh, flexible sensors uh, they are like transparent but also is because it's really thin and you can apply it to different services surfaces like this is leather and then here is pepper well wow, that's really cool so here we have um, an application for uh, smart driving. Yeah, this is um, our um, flexible sensor. It's applied to a car dashboard. This is a uh, curved. So that means uh, there's no gear here, there's no uh, nothing, basically nothing of those like, traditional car controls. Yeah, as you um, mentioned, it's different from the traditional car dashboard. It doesn't have all those physical buttons. It can save more money to make this than the original and traditional car dashboard because it, because it has so many different things on it. But now it all combines into one curved flexible sensor. Yeah, this is our... Um, Another product is 3D virtual mobile theater. And this is actually, um, it gives you an experience of immersive uh, movie watching experience. And it has a huge curved screen inside and it's really high resolution. And also it combines with uh, noise canceling, good quality uh, headphones. You can use it to play games and you can have a try. Ah, that was really fun. So do you think the rollable screen is going to be as revolutionary as a touch screen? Well, um, when we founded the company, we uh, believe that flexible electronics could be a uh, huge potential in many applications, for example, like smartphones, pad, TV, and also like car and um, sports fashion. Um, and our mission is trying to, you know, um, build the new human machine, human machine interface technologies to improve the way people interact with and perceive the world. When you look at the future of human machine interface, uh, a lot of people say voice commands will be the mainstay. And uh, how important a role is rollable or flexible uh, display will be among either you know voice control, motion control, and other forms. Uh, voice recognition, face recognition, and also like uh, touch screen displays control they're all very important for human machine interface uh, flexible electronics actually it's a very very new way for people to you know interact with the consumer information uh, electronics information uh, you could make the smartphone like this uh, it's bendable it's rollable and you can even like combine the, the watch and the phone to a single device and then um, you can put it on the wrist. So this is uh, totally different from the, what we see uh, in, the, in today's design. For flexible display, we have major manu electronics manufacturers such as LG, Samsung, they're all launching their new products. Just in terms of technology sophistication, where do you put yourself? Oh, th I think this is a very good question for startup company. You know, it's always like a startup company is challenging to buy um, by the traditional big companies and what we can do is um, find the right technologies 
and own the right IPs uh, patents to protect your own company and then um, use that specific technology to grow the technologies and products and uh, s sell the products to the world and then let other people know your company could do this first and even faster than other companies. And you have all these different type of products which you launched recently. Are you seeing early signs that you know the market, the consumers are loving it, they're buying it? Um, I can give you a good example like at CES. Our first debut at CES is 2016 and when we showed the Flex Electronics um, at the CES, we received a lot of attention from different areas, different industry, different companies. And, um, and then we uh, went back to CES earlier this year um, with an even big booth in 2016 and it's totally crowded every day and you could see so many people uh, just looking forward to new technologies. Which product specifically do you feel is going to provide the sales breakthrough for the company to support the $3 billion valuation? Well, we, we, we are more like a technology platform, you know. We uh, got the flexible electronics technologies and we provide the solution and the technologies to different industry clients. We also have the B2C consumer products like this 3D virtual mobile theater and uh, that product was sold by uh, our own company and uh, online and offline. Uh, so currently we have both a B2B and a B2C business to support the company growth. What other exciting products and technology are in your pipeline? What we, what we can see in the showroom today, I think it's only a small part of the innovation uh, on the consumer electronics, sports and fashion, architecture design, uh, smart home appliance, and also um, the uh, vehicle and uh, um, flight applications. Uh, there's still a lot of things we could do in these different areas. The profit margin, as we know in manufacturing, um, in this type of um, uh, you know lower stream industry value chain, is very low. But how how would you you know imagine if one day you do become profitable? What would the margin be? Um, manufacturing is not easy thing, you know, but it doesn't mean that uh, you don't have any uh, margin to uh, stay in the in this industry. The key thing is. Uh, whether you have the IP, you have the key core technologies in the industry or not. If you have the innovation, you have the key IPs, I think you always find a margin to grow. Thank you so much, Bill, for your time. Yeah, thank you.